Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and we are at the Eva Longorian Foundation Gala. Tonight we're going to be interviewing some of your favorite stars on some of your favorite TV shows. You're not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned. You're beautiful. Thank I'm you. good. Okay, so we know that, you know, you know Eva, of course, from Grand Hotel, which is one of my favorite shows. Yes. Uh, what was the experience like working with her? Oh my gosh, she really just showed me that you can be like one of the top women in Hollywood and still be so friendly and nice and just treat everyone like they are your best friends. And I think that she just embodies such a humble personality and like I admire her so much. And so I know you guys became really close friends behind the scene. Do you have a favorite memory from the show? And especially now that it's not coming back that you can share with us? I mean, my favorite memory would be when she had us all over to watch um, one of the episodes, I can't remember, but we all like were hanging out with her dog and she would always have food there. And we just hung out with her for even hours after we watched The Bachelor together, which was really fun. <laughs> um, just really just getting to like hang out at her house and like be being her friend, you know, and feeling like there was no boundary. That was about it, yeah. So Eva just directed you in something. What can you tell us about this project? What it was like working with her? Um, the Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia is about this 15 and a half year old Latina who is the youngest person ever to earn a PhD. Uh, working with her has been an incredible journey. Um, she directed two episodes and um, oh my gosh, I've learned so much from her and she's just such a big inspiration to me. So where are we gonna be, where, where are we gonna be able to see the show? On Netflix. So tell me, when was the first time like that you met Eva, and what was like? How have, has your guys' relationship grown over the years? I, I don't remember the first time I met Eva. I think it. I know it was for some event, and she was on a soap opera, and I was on some show, and they wanted us to take a picture together. I think that was it, and we were just like, "Hey, okay, you know, we're two Latinas on shows a long time ago, which was very rare." Um, and so we took a picture together and we just started talking and I was like, oh my God, I love this kid. I love this girl, you know? She's like my little sister. Well, she's been such a trailblazer, not only for Latino women, but for women in general. I mean, she's directing several movies now. What do you think uh, that she has changed, at least for like younger Latina women, as far as being in this industry and how she's helped them? I would say being open to all kinds of talent. Mm -hmm. If you'll see in her shows, she hires all kinds of people. It doesn't it doesn't matter uh, where they from or where they're from. If they're if they're Mexican or Puerto Rican or Cuban, we're all in it together. And if they're famous or not famous, it's all about the talent. She gives people a chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, your story right now is kind of one of those Hollywood TV love stories. I'm so excited. I mean, pop TV, one day at a time. How did this happen? Uh, really, our fans. <laughs> It happened because the Latinx community, the LGBTQ community, veteran communities, they all came together. They made their voices heard and they said, we need to see ourselves represented in some capacity. We love this show and we like what they're doing. And so we're so grateful to our fans for being so loud and proud because it worked. And thanks to Sony's perseverance, Pop came in and picked us up. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for women, especially in this community. Um, you are going to be an amazing, huge director soon. When was it in your career that you decided you really want to take the step to be a director? You know, I've always been a director producer and I fell into acting. Uh, but then acting took off and now that I started to, well, I've been directing for 10 years, but when I started to direct, it was natural and I was good at it and I love it and it uses all of my brain <laughs> cells. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I always was. There wasn't a moment that I said, I think I'm going to be a director. I felt like I was always going to be a director. Is it extremely difficult to direct yourself? Huh? Is it difficult to direct I yourself? I prefer to direct myself. Yeah. <laughs> I love directing myself. Um, it's so funny because I just directed Paulina Chavez. She's on uh, the Netflix show, Ashley Garcia, and I just directed her. Uh, and I had so much fun. It's Mario's show. Mario produces that show. Jen Carlos is... Uh, on that show. Um, so yeah, directing to me, I just love it. I love actors and I love the crew of creativity, just all combining our minds uh, to create. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.